room with you all just for a minute. And I'm so grateful to have the privilege to come and just share the good word of our Lord Jesus Christ in this season. Oh, so yeah. uh, And it's just a wonderful opportunity. And I thank God for Pastor allowing us to come and just stand and give y'all the word. Also, I thank God for the word because the word is in Luke. <laughs> thank yeah. God for that. It is also in Luke, the first chapter. But before I go a little bit there, I just want to kind of give you all just a little bit, mm, just a little bit of it. Um, and we're still going to stay in the same scripture, uh, Luke 1, and we're going to actually go all the way over. <laughs> I like that one, way over. To our favorite of our Mary. Mm. And we'll do 26 and 7, and then we're going to do 41. But I want to share this with you all. It's a privilege, I'm telling you all. In the familiar vision of Christmas story, Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem. That's right. Because there was no room in the inn. Right. They didn't have anything. They didn't have anything. I just want to give you this before I get into the scripture. Just kind of get you where we're going. And, and the baby Jesus born in the stable, placed in the manger, his humble birth is celebrated by chorus, mm -hmm. angel, shepherd, and given precious gift. Isn't that a mystery? All right. Mm. But in the 27th chapter, well, I mean 20 verse, 27 verse, I'm sorry, uh, Luke first, and it says, I'm going to read down to, actually I'm going to get down to my own little scripture where I was earlier. It was really the 28, I'm going to go to the 28, and it said the angel came into her right. and said, Hail, thou that art mm -hmm. Hail. highly favor, the favor. Lord is with thee, blessed art thou anointed woman. Yes. Then I'm going to move down also, I'm 29 and 30, and I'm going to 41. And when he, she saw him, she was troubled. Uh, at this saying and casting in her mind, what matter of the solution she had? She sh she should be. I'm sorry. And the angel said unto her, "Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God." I want to jump all the way to 41. 41 says, "And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the solution of Mary having uh, babes leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth filled with the Holy Ghost." I want to stop right there, and and I, what I want to go is. Christmas story, Mary, little baby Jesus. All right, all right. There's a Christmas story about him. Uh -huh. Mary, the mother of Jesus. All right now. So here is, sure here, is here is she uh, getting an opportunity to come in and say, here comes the angel. Now she was, now my understanding and in your Bible tells us she was just a little girl. She really was just a younger little lady. She really was. <laughs> But here it is, she comes in and, and she's in a place where actually she was actually born in Nazareth, Israel. And the wonderful part about it, she's been chosen. Oh, shut up. So, uh, a favor from in her womb that God said, I'm going to take what I'd already created, which is you, and I'm going to place also my son in you. All right. I'm not just going to give you that, I'm going to give you favor. Come on, and so when we know God will give us favor, oh, you you be like, okay, where they come from? I, somebody gave me something? All something right. happened to me? All right. what, and I know, I, what did I do? You're trying to figure out what I do. But Mary was saying, me? That's right. Me, here's the angel Gabriel. She's saying me? Mm -hmm. Now the Bible says she's trouble. Mm. But he said, fear not. Fear not. And sometimes I know we're troubled with things, but God said, listen, if you just let me step all in you, I'll send you one of my angels. As a matter of fact, I'll send you some of mine that are part of my prophetic word, my Amen. prophecy, my gift, my anointing, my healing. Amen. He said, receive what I give you. Now she's troubled. Oh, you just, all right. all now right. she's just a young lady. And she's troubled. Right. Here comes an angel. I ain't even seen you. I, I don't even know you, but I'm going to receive what you're going to come inside of me. Out of I'm going to receive it. Come on, receive I'm going to receive it. Come on now. I really don't know it all, but I'm troubled about the situation. Now, she's got favor. Amen. Amen. The other one. Then the other one was, uh, I love to 
this here and I always use it. I use it because here comes, and here you are, here comes Mary come around the corner and she's going to her cousin Elizabeth and get happy a little bit because when she come around, John leaped inside of her. Her baby that was inside of her leaped. Her baby. Come on now. Because now her cousin, which is Mary, got a son of the Holy Ghost down on the inside of her. Oh, God. Help right. us. And still, he leaked on inside of us. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, we read. We read the two. Yeah, we know that. I was already born before. We read leaked inside. Leaked inside of her. Oh, my God. And so. When I got to here, I said, Lord, y'all y'all help me on this one. Because when I go to, and I'm just going to go a little bit because God gave it to me this morning, the Spirit of the Lord. And he said, and you just uh, putting yourself in Mary said, in Corinthians, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians. I'll mm -hmm. do that right quick. Come on, now. And, uh, Take your time. And, 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 and I'm loving this because, and the Lord gave it to me. He said, I just want you. Here it is, a young girl. She's just really a young girl. She really just, I haven't even got it. To it. She hadn't really even experienced, but now her time is to come in to accept the Holy Ghost down in her belly, born oh, from the Most High God. That's it. That's it. So, here comes, I love this for you. Jesus said in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, he brings us there. Uh -huh. 2 and 9, and uh, I said, okay, Lord. Well, Y'all work it. Because here it is, we, we on Mary. Come on, we, we won't leave Joseph out. We won't leave him out. We, we're not going to leave him out. Uh, we're going two and nine. Yes. And it says, here it is, two, two and nine says, it says, fine God is faithful to whom ye were called into the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ, our I got Gabriel, I got 
Missy, I got four angels standing in four corners. Oh, I'm holding the wind. He said, I got, some, I got some more folks also. I got Michael also. Let me come, Jesus said. Come unto me, all your labor have laid, and I give you rest. Matter of fact, he said in the book of Revelation, if you knock, if I, when I knock, let me in. Open your heart up and that's say, come right. on and step right on that's there, right. Jesus. Yeah. Take everything out that's not like you. Right. Right. Mm. Oh, have mercy. That's it. So, that's it. when I got, <laughs> he just blessed me this morning, really. I really, I'm so grateful. So about this time, the Lord brought me back to the story of Mary. Brought me back to the story of her. And she received it even though she was troubled. Even though she didn't know which way to go. Even though she said, mm, I'm just a little girl. I'm still young. But God sent her some help of the Holy Ghost. And my understanding, which is in your Bible, which is mine too, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, you receive power. Can I get some low? That's it. That's Can I have some of your power? That's it. Come on. Can I get some a little bit low? I'm gonna do what you say, do Lord God. If you just send me, just breathe on me, Jesus. Can I have a little bit of your prophetic word? Can I have some of your healing? Because if I can just touch the hem, the woman said, if I can just touch, yeah, the healing is God. I'm a man who. I'm a living. Let me tell y'all something. I am a living testimony. I gotta give it up. Ah ha. Hey, I have to give it up because. I mean, this year was actually a year for me. A year for me. Now, I'm thinking of Mary. Lord brought that to me. And still, they diagnosed me in the first of the year with muscle spasm. My whole right side went out on me, swollen. I couldn't even get up. Lord, have mercy. But I slid down on the floor, y'all. You hit me with, at midnight. Y'all remember Paul and Silas? Come on. About midnight, they begin to praise and worship God. I, I was like, Lord, I couldn't even get up. I gotta get to. I couldn't even get in the car. It took me a minute to get in the y'all. Y'all telling y'all. So I said, Lord, let me find some men and women of God that got some of your anointing on you. No, no. <laughs> I still got it. I, he had to help me how to use it. No. I still got it. I still came, no. but I still get up. Mm. So I found this one man that he did thirteen sermon pastor, and I cut him with a conversation with somebody. I said, Look, holy. Hold on, hold on. I need for you to pray for me. My knees is bothering me. I met another pastor. I said, come on, just lay hands on me. Then I said, Lord, why are we in there? Give me some strength, Lord. So there's some power that we can get from others also. I need for you to help me when I'm down and I pray for me. Don't talk about me. Come on now. Because I guarantee you when Jesus stood before me, come on there at, at the tomb sepulchre, he said, Take a good look at me. Don't I look good? Mm, don't I look good? Oh, I just want, did you see my feet, baby? I, I, want you to, I want you to see my feet. Did you see my back, baby? I just want you to see that crown. I, listen, I'm, I'm not wearing it no more, but I'm wearing the best crown. He said, listen, what I want you to do is let me lift up my gum and let you put your finger in my side. Ooh. Now go down there and tell my disciple, meet me in Galilee. Because if you saw me, shoot with it. But here's Mary had the opportunity. Opportunity. I believe in the healing. I'm a living testimony. I used to have migraine when I couldn't see y'all. Couldn't see on my toes. And God said, you can't hold what I placed in you of the Holy Ghost. I remember that. But this season really got me because I couldn't get up. After that, I had an accident. That took the other stuff. That took the other side. I go. Lord have mercy. And I still have to get up and pray at midnight at 2 o'clock in the morning. Slide down on the floor, mother. Slide, get out of my bed and slide. Not get up and just slide down. Hey, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Woo. Amen. And so Mary, Mary had a privilege, opportunity, favor. Oh, I'm going to bless you now. Overflow. I like to get blessed. So God gave me this, and I'm, I'm about finished. But I wanted to share how I couldn't get up. I couldn't put my boots on, y'all. I've been having boots in. I have shoes. I can't wear heels. And Lord said, put shoes. I said, Lord, y'all know I can't walk in the heels. He said, put them on. Now pray and ask me for some strength. 